To use the ATGMs out of the Rhino to hit something that's many kilometers away and out of sight, obviously you need the Rhino and the ATGMs themselves, and then also either someone lasing for you, or to uh, actually use the lase from one of the drones yourself. So we've got a darter off over there in the distance somewhere, a couple of kilometers away looking down on a nearby town, and what we should see are a bunch of CSAT roaming around the place, or crashing into buildings as they tend to do. So if we look onto the Ifrit down there by pressing Control T and turn the laser on, then switch back to our Rhino, hop in. Once you're in, you need to make sure you select the ATGMs, load them into the main cannon. And we're going to want to make sure that they lock on after launching rather than locking on before launching. So at the moment with that solid bar in the top right corner, that means you need to lock on then fire. If you press F, it switches to lock on after launch, which means it's going to go up, fly up very high, and then go towards the target, steer itself in, drop down on it, which we are hopefully going to see now. So if we cycle this over to the drone camera, and then over on this side, we can have the missile view. You should see what I mean. So, looking through the gun sight, press R to select the target. It's just appeared over there on the left. Uh, right, even, and uh, should fire okay, correct very quickly towards the target. You see it's flying off there on the left-hand side. And now, if you come and have a look at what the drone sees, you should very shortly see the missile come in and wipe this ifrit. that's all there is to it.